Hello friends, uh, this is Dr. Amarjit Kaur, Professor of Accounting and Communication at the Department of Management, Gurugram University. Uh, this is my privilege that I am here with you to discuss on a very interesting and simple topic which is about employability communication which is interview. So under employment communication, I am going to talk about a very uh, you know simple yet important topic, interviews. So interviews as the name sounds, we all are familiar with this that interviewing somebody is going to interview you and you are going to be interviewed. So it is a goal oriented talk. So it means there is a goal of every organization and the person who is going to appear for interview. Even he or she has a goal to get the job, to get admission, to convince somebody. Right. So we call them as interviews as goal oriented talks. So, why there is a need for, uh, you know, interviews? Because we have so many alternatives available around for jobs, job seekers are there, so many employers are there, right? So, that's why uh, the interview is required and we all learn, no need to learn about interviews. This interview can happen between one individual and another individual or it can happen between individual and organizations. Right? So this is basically a formal in-depth conversation where exchange of information is taking place between two individuals or one individual and the organization. Because what is the purpose? Because we are looking for compatibility. We are trying to find out a compatible candidate for a job, for a, for a seat in a college or university if it is an admission interview. Uh, for anything for that matter. So we are trying to find out the compatibility of the candidate, right? So uh, in this whole process, what is happening, the interview, his opinion is going to be taken, right? So uh, and an understanding is going to be developed by the person who is interviewing. So we take it as a concept of WASP, W-A-S-P, WASP. So W here stands for welcoming, you know, welcoming the candidate. That's how an interview begins with. A is acquiring information from the candidate, and then S is uh, supplying information to the candidate, and P is parting cordially. So we call it as WASP, W A S P, WASP. Right. So this is the whole process of interviewing. Now uh, you would be wondering that. Uh, it's not only the admission or the job where the you know, interview is required. It has become a part of social life. Even for marriage, you know, perspects people would be interviewing others. Uh, for many more reasons the interview take place, I will discuss about uh, all those possible you know, reasons in the next few minutes. But let's understand that the objective of interview is to gather details and the relevant information by talk, you know, talking to interviewee. Thereafter, you know, making an assessment, an appraisal about the, you know, either the candidate is you know, you know, suitable or not. So, person's uh, suitability is assessed with the help of interview. That's how it goes. Uh, the interview could be for admission, you know, if somebody has to take admission at Gurukuram University, so there could be a program where interview is required before somebody is selected for that program. It is for job for sure, for orientation. After you are recruited by some company uh, to orient you towards the skills required, towards the process of the work, uh, the, the orientation into can take place. A promotion into takes place in at organization, you know, especially in the corporate world. Uh, whenever a person is due for next promotion, so he or she has to face a job into uh, promotion into with the senior management to convince them that I am the right candidate for that promotion. Right? So that's the promotion interview. Uh, for selection interview, so you are already working in, uh, in a company, but a new project has to get started with. And uh, to, uh, to prove that you are the right person who has interest in this particular project, who has skills required for that project, you know, we need uh, uh, the selection interview. So same could be for, uh, you know, for a team which is going to play for cricket or any other game. 
so selection interviews are also taking place uh, even exit interviews uh, does take place which means uh, when somebody is leaving a job right uh, they are uh, the employer would really want to know the right uh, per, you know uh, the the exact reason for exiting that job why uh, the person is leaving uh, the organization is it something the organization can improve at so these are the points which we can actually try to figure out through an exit interview then we have a uh, no, grievance interview let's say a group of people comes and uh, you know sub submit their complain about any system any process so that there's a grievance so they have some grievances to address their grievances you no know, uh, the administrator may like to meet one by one or the group and would like to know exactly the cause of uh, grievance right through an interview so that is what is called as grievance interview assessment interview you know we want to assess the situation uh, we want to assess the impact of some happening some event even then interview is required so uh, not only that we nowadays another thing is happening we have psychological assessment interviews where to assess the uh, you know psychological state of mind of any individual about uh, you know it could be about some bad he events have happened with somebody it you no know, less let's say somebody has been uh, you know somebody has gone through some molestation at workplace at a public place so then psychologists they come in place they generally prefer to talk to the person so they actually you know it may not sound as interview but they are actually uh, uh, conducting interview it may sound as a conversation because uh, conversation is uh, you know towards uh, knowing the uh, the impact of that particular incidents over the person right so there's a goal as i started with the statement that this is a goal oriented conversation so interview is also a conversation for that matter right so these are the so many types of interviews so that's why it is so important for all of us to know what interview is and to uh, prepare ourselves for the interview i shall be talking about certain tips that how to prepare for interview uh, but up to this point i was trying to establish the importance of being preparing for interview because this has become a part of our social life everybody it is fact it i know a student a professor any other job seeker any employee anybody who is actually working already somewhere government or private sector everywhere interview is required right so it is so so important now the interviews could be you know even stress uh, for stress assessing the stress of uh, an employee or of a person it could be media interview you know people who appear on a television uh, you know channel and they are answering question of the anchor so this is what we call as media interview right nowadays new concept has come up of consumer interview companies are conducting interviews for all those people who are their clients who have purchased some product or service from them their customers so they are interviewing them to know the, how can they improve upon the product the you know specification of the product the quality of the product and as i said the interesting thing is happening the matrimonial interviews are also taking place so with this background uh, you know i would like to move further now and would help you with certain tips that how to prepare for interview if i talk about job because uh, i believe most of the people who are job seeker would be more interested in this uh, talk today than anybody else right so i am just quoting some example uh southwest airline says that we hire attitude so we hire attitude this is the tagline so for hiring purpose the procter and gamble says you know uh, we look for a passion for winning a clear ability to lead strong analytical skills ability to think innovatively you know this is what png says other companies they look for somebody who can think uh, you know uh, 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 very critically somebody who can work in team somebody who, who drives for continuous self improvement these are the uh, you know these are the objectives of uh, the companies hr department when they look for anybody to hire it means when you are preparing for interview 
you are, you know especially a job interview uh, then make sure that you understand what does that company look for why are they hiring now of course they are hiring for some technical skill but other than that what are they looking for in terms of soft skills or life skills okay so i would say the first tip from my side is when you go and prepare for a job interview and uh, you know first thing is do your homework which means read about the company read about the profile they have advertised for read about the sector in general you know you should be very well prepared in uh, in your mind that this is the sector i am going to work if i get that job uh, for which i am appearing you know uh, this is the profile i am going to work for so what are the skills required in that particular profile so make sure you do your homework very well then you anticipate questions think about all possible questions the interviewer is going to ask you you are interviewing there right so interviewers could be one person or a group of person there could be more than one interviewer there so just try to anticipate all possible questions you know the questions would be of course about yourself who you are your educational background your work experience your job knowledge uh, it could be the technical skills you have it would be you know how do you assess yourself your self assessment even that would be something uh, you know you can expect as a as a question uh, and another important thing is it would be about your personality and temperament what kind of personality you are and what is your temperament what kind of temperament do you have this is something which is going to be assessed in most of the interviews and especially in stress interview right uh they may like to know about your current employer if you are already working somewhere they may like to assess your general knowledge your awareness about the sector the profile or the country or the economy uh in general so these are the possible questions uh, to begin with right so make sure you you anticipate and you know think about or gather your thoughts in your mind here that these are the possible question i should be uh, prepared for right uh, so this is the second thing that anticipate questions the third thing i would like to tell you that do not get worked up which means uh, stay cool uh, people generally uh, would work it up they would be uh, you know they would not be able to stay calm during the interview so try to feel, you know recall yourself before entering the interview room that i need to stay calm i need to stay cool right so that is another thing which is uh, required to face a job interview and uh, one more thing which is always very important uh, mind your uh, physical appearance what kind of uh, clothes are you going to wear you know uh, then uh, mind that your your, uh, your hairs are your uh, you know hair are well groomed they are tied you know tied up very well so you are well groomed uh your shoes are polished you wear a formal shoes of you know you are well groomed for that purpose so your first when you enter the uh, into your room or the board room make sure uh, you you are uh, appealing cool and calm and uh, you know uh, well groomed then always try to reach the on time so it's not do you know i am giving you tips to prepare for into as well as to face the interview both right so prepare and facing a job interview so make sure you always reach well before time uh, as, you know as the english people say that if you are late by uh, you know if you are arriving 5 minutes early you are late by 10 minutes so it means you must reach at least 15 minutes in advance wherever you are supposed to reach then uh, when you enter mind your body language i always say smile is the best uh, you know uh, makeup we can carry right so smile is the <clears throat> most important thing one can carry so uh, your body language should be very positive you should be straight you know with the if you go and shake hand shake it very firmly and you should be smiling uh, you know and greeting people when you enter and then after you enter the board room and you start the conversation try to make a rapport with the interviewer what does that mean that means 
you know, talk about something generic. You know, today the weather is very nice. Uh, you know, for example, in Gurgaon today it was raining in the morning. I can say, wow, what a change. Yesterday it was so chilly here, but it's raining today. There's no sun. Yesterday it was so sunny. So you should start with something which the other person can relate with and is simple and generic in nature. So that is how we begin our rapport, uh, you know, with the people. Uh, then when the intro actually start, you know, make sure you understand the question very well. So it's important that you hear it very uh, well. So listening and hearing are two different uh, processes. Hearing is something your, your ears are doing, but your mind should be listening it. So make sure you listen the question and comprehend it very well. So understanding the question is <coughs> important to answer it well, right? Then make sure when you answer, when you start answering, you answer very honestly, honestly, right? So you should be very honest when you are answering the question. You should not be bluffing because sooner or later you are going to be caught for that. So it's very important to answer uh, fairly, honestly. And certainly the next tip is to be confident as well while answering. You should be sounding confident uh, about the question you answer and that is possible when you have already, you know, uh, uh, figure out what kind of questions you are going to be facing and you have prepared it uh, well. And then make sure you do not disclose the information which is confidential especially about your current employer if you are working, right? There could be an interviewer who may like to ask something about your current employer. Make sure you maintain the integrity and do not disclose the confidential information with the hope that you, you have to get this job. No, that is not, uh, you know, a logic to use ever. So we should always maintain the confidentiality of the you know, previous organization. We need to be sincere about that, right? And we need to be truthful about whatever we are answering though. You can say, sorry, this is something I cannot disclose. The another tip from my side is that do not offend the interviewer. There could be a question which you did not like. You think uh, that was very direct upon you. You may feel it was to spot you. Fine. There is a way to handle that. Right? Do not be off, you know, offensive during the interview. That question could have been raised to just assess your temperament. Isn't it? You never know. That was a conscious question came to you as from the interviewer. Okay? And do not boast. Do not brag. Which means, you know, uh, Talk about real, talk about uh, what is uh, actually there. Do not try to boast about anything, your current employer, your current position, your education. Sound uh, genuine, sound, sound natural without any bragging. And then avoid very long pauses during your conversation. So if I'm talking, you know, the, the gap should be in a few seconds. It should not be that you are lost for a couple of good seconds or a minute. So mind your pause between the answers, between the states, uh, statements, even that is important. And then uh, try to figure out, you know, uh, if there's an opportunity to talk about the skills you have. So we call it as grab opportunities, which means you may not have uh, got a direct question where you wanted to quote an example, you prepared for, uh, you know, recalling an event, recalling a project you have worked, uh, worked at. You were prepared mentally to talk about that particular project or the event in the previous organization because you think it is most relevant for the current job. But you did not get a question. It, it is quite a possibility, right? So try to figure out during the conversation, during the question you are answering, that is it possible to bring uh, that particular aspect in? If yes, you know, grab that opportunity because uh, you know what is important for that particular job uh, or the role if you have uh, you are you are appearing for. So grab that opportunity, right? And then try to use some wit. Some kind of wittiness is uh, required. It should not be sounding very serious all the time. So small, uh, you know, some small joke 
of course not uh, you know irrelevant one if possible you can try to crack but that will depend on your position and some kind of humor is certainly required but that should be natural okay so natural humor if you can handle that i am not saying it is mandatory it must be there only if you can handle it very well and try to be distinctive how can you distinct yourself you know we know there are people uh, uh, you know in in really uh, hundreds of numbers for a one one particular job this is how, what is the state of affairs around everywhere so try to distinct yourself so you know before you uh, go for interview you know before the day of interview brainstorm you know introspect with yourself and try to uh, figure out how you can prove yourself a distinctive candidate than others you know so that's what we call it as being distinctive then uh, you know uh, you have to conclude the interview if you can get a chance so towards the end of the interview see if you can try to conclude it by saying you know it was really a great conversation thank you for the opportunity i was really it was amazing knowing you it was amazing knowing these facts or whatever they talked about so this if you get a chance because it's not that every candidate gets a chance so if you get a chance try to conclude the interview and uh, uh, you know uh, be discreet and uh, and restrained you know say thank you make sure before leaving when you get up from the seat when you are leaving say thank you by greeting everybody and then you leave if you do not get a chance to conclude but at least be this much courteous to express gratitude for the opportunity and leave uh, you know while you standing and the last thing is you know once you are done with the interview and let's say uh, you are not uh, you, you could not get a job you appear for so do not blame yourself learn from you know whatever has happened during that process uh, you should accept there could be some better candidate than you and then work on all that th- all those aspects which you think went wrong discuss those aspects with your family with your friend with your professors or a mentor if you have and carry that learning uh, to the next interview if it is a job interview so uh, these were the points these were the tips for you guys i hope they will help you to uh, face the next interview whatever you appear for be it a job interview be it a promotion interview be it a admission interview right so these tips shall help you in future and uh, i look forward to the comments to your feedbacks if possible and with these words i would like to know wind up uh, time to sign off thank you guys thank you very much